Hello and welcome to today's video break. Psalm 33, 7 says, He gathers the waters of the sea into pits. He puts the deep into storehouses. Just when you think you've got God figured out, you, you stumble across a verse like this that says, I don't have a clue to the extent of God's power to his almightiness. When I think that he can gather the depths of the oceans into jars, that he has that much control, he has that much power. That And I think of this when he pulled back the sea and allowed the Israelites to walk through it. You know, that, and to think that my daily crisis can overwhelm me to the place where it can bring me down. And I'm wondering your daily crisis. I'm wondering if there's a crisis that's in your life that God is trying to, to calm, to bring you an answer, to bring me an answer. But yet, we're, we, instead of looking to the power and to the source that is all powerful, we look to another place. We're, we're searching for another answer. We're, we're going a different direction. We're not following the ways of, of God. You know, it might, it might feel that way or it might seem that way, but because our faith is often, often tested during times of trials, just like the Israelites were, but remember that God is able to speak into creation with his words and, you know, and creation happens. But not only that, he's able to, to part things in our life that needed to be parted so that we can walk through in a peaceful place and end up in a whole different realm. And I just see that, that some of us may need that this week, that we might come to this place where we feel like we're being, there's many sources that are against us. We feel like we're being, we feel like we're being chased. You know, we feel like, you know, the enemy's just pushing us and pushing us. And we're, you know, we're at this place of, okay, God, if you don't do something, what am I going to do? What a great place to be. That's what I often say when people tell me their trials and they get to this place when all of a sudden they say, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I often say, that's a great place to be. And I say that in my own life as well, because that's the place where our sources have run. We're done with our sources that we can imagine, that we have thought of. But what about the all-powerful greatest source that you and I have? Have we gone there? Have we said, okay, whatever your will be done, thy will be done, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. You know, that verse means, let me see some heavenly activity that's going on in heaven right here displayed on earth. And maybe you do need one of those moments where you're saying, part this situation for me, God, help me. But you know, Often, I'm not sure we know how to ask for help. But when I come across a verse like this, I think, what in my life am I not allowing God to display his source of power? Maybe that's worth thinking about even today. Do you have a situation even today that, God's one is, that God is, is trying to say, I've got a greater source? Have a blessed day.